If he ever got to run this country and they ran it the way he would want to run it, we would have we would our suburbs would be gone. By the suburbs. way, our suburbs would be gone, and you would see problems like you've he never seen. He would know right. a suburb unless he took a wrong turn. Oh, I know suburbs. He would not. So much I was better. raised. Go ahead. Wait a minute. I was oh, raised in the suburbs. This is not 1950. All these dog whistles and racism don't work anymore. Suburbs are by and large integrated. There as many people today driving their kids to soccer practice and or to uh, black and white and Hispanic in the same car as there have been any time in, in the past. What's, what really is a threat to the suburbs and their safety is his failure to deal with COVID. They're dying in the suburbs. His failure to deal with the environment. They're being flooded. They're being burned out because okay. his refusal to do anything. That's why the suburbs are in trouble. I, I do want to talk. My little guest star has finally settled down over here. Um, I can't believe I just watched that clip. Like, I genuinely cannot believe what came out of the president of the United States' mouth. He dog whistled. Biden is absolutely cat's knocking things down. Biden is absolutely correct when he stated that dog whistles do not work, that this is not the 1950s anymore. No matter how much Donald Trump wants to drive us back to the 1950s, no matter how much he thinks white suburban women are afraid of the boogeyman, and by boogeyman I mean black men, um, we're not. My neighborhood is diverse as hell. I picked my suburban neighborhood because it was diverse, because I wanted my kids to grow up with people that weren't identical to them, that had different thoughts and different cultures, so that my child would grow up learning that people are different. Donald Trump is saying with this whole suburbs, sub suburbs thing, that he wants to go back to the time when, you know, it was only white people in the suburbs, and he implies it as a whole bunch of crime. He does the same thing when he said just a few seconds prior to this clip, about the violence in Chicago. It is a racist dog whistle to his racist base, which he has refused to condemn ever. And I am very happy that Joe Biden called him out and told him that the suburbs are diverse. The suburbs will continue to be diverse no matter how much you want to drag it back to the 1950s. And these are issues on which I am voting for Joe Biden for. Because I absolutely refuse to have women's rights taken away. I absolutely refuse to go back to when black men were punished for just being black. Which they still are today. But I am talking about when it comes to living in the suburbs. Let's be clear on that. Alright guys.